call me simplistic on this, but I, I tell you, it, for me, it was uh, it became part of um, a, a nurturing primarily from my mother as a as a child. It was um, you know people are important; uh, they're all important. You treat people with respect and what have you. So a lot of it came from there, but ultimately it 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 is part of a religious uh, outlook and belief, and I tend not to wear my religion on my on my sleeve. But um, the view was, well, what do you believe, and how do you live your life according to those beliefs? And it was one of um, everybody deserves to be respected, and one of the best ways to show that respect is to listen and to be able to hear people and to uh, meet them where they are. Um, and so um, that's where I started. The other piece is I learned when in the life insurance business, I learned a number of, of um, skills at how to, how to do that more effectively how to be a better listener, and how to uh, how to teach other people to be able to do some of those things. And I struggled with a lot of things. Um, I took courses in the world religions and what have you. And what I finally came down to, and it was kind of an epiphany. I was sitting in church, must have been 30 years old, and I'd heard it over and over and over again. But the minister basically said, when Jesus was being questioned, what's the greatest commandment? And it's love your God. With all your heart and all your mind and all your strength and all your soul and second is like unto it, love your fellow man. And it, and I kind of figured out you can't do one without the other. And so all of it has been I may make mistakes in how I approach it, but the reality is win win has always been a better philosophy for me than win lose. So whenever possible it's how do we how do we both out of this uh, engagement in a better position than we would have been individually.